We're here on a hillside just out of Birdwood in the Adelaide Hills, Hills and Flurio region. We're standing on a property that runs sheep and vegetable growing. This is the pasture area, dried out now because it's summer. We've tested the soil in this area and it is quite acid. Acidity is a problem throughout the Hills and Flurio region and it reduces productivity of pastures and crops and it can cost landowners up to $20 or $30 per hectare every year in lost production. One of the ways to treat acidity is with lime. So we've got a trial here with several different sorts of lime. And we're also trying a couple of other different products such as compost, gypsum and biochar to see if we can get that lime working any faster in the soil. Normally it takes two to three years for a lime product to neutralise acidity. We're hoping that we can get it happening a little bit faster on this site and thus it would be more economical for farmers to use. In the area with changing climate conditions and variability, having soil that's as healthy as possible means that you're going to get the best out of your production no matter what the conditions. So having soil with the correct pH means that the grass will grow better, it'll draw down more carbon out of the atmosphere, it will have deeper roots which are putting carbon deep into the soil. This improves the health of the soil and the water holding availability so that you can get the most out of your pasture or crop. I've taken a a spadeful of the topsoil, about 10 centimetres deep here, and I'm going to put some uh, pH indicator solution on it. So this is one of the limed spots. So we'll just let the pH solution soak in a little bit. So pH is one of the things that determines the ability of roots to grow in soil and the availability of nutrition for plants. If it's too acid then nutrients are less available and the plant roots can't grow through the acid soil because it becomes toxic to them. I'm putting a little bit of white powder onto the solution so that we can actually see the colour and as the colour develops out from the, from the liquid we can see that up the top here we've got a sort of purplish colour. Now that's because the lime that was applied to the soil here has neutralised the acidity in the topsoil. As we go down it becomes less purple and more green. So this is a sort of dark green colour and here underneath right down the bottom it's quite a bright yellowish green. So that bright yellowish green shows that it's acid there but more neutral up the top. So the liming treatment that we have put on this plot has actually had quite a good effect down to at least five centimetres, which is great. Now, if I go and collect a sample of soil from an untreated area, we'll see that the pH is more acid up near the surface. With the result here, we've seen that the, the lime can neutralise the acidity, which will improve the growth of pasture and also in, improve the nutrition status of the pasture. So any stock that are grazing on here are likely to be healthier and have less problems and have better quality produce like milk or meat or wool. So for farmers that have an acidity problem where their topsoil is that bright greenish yellow sort of pH around five or less, we would recommend that they add some lime to it to bring it back to this more neutral above five and a half, so in the five and a half to six to seven range. Uh, lime is crushed up limestone rock, so it's a natural thing, it's just been taken out of the ground, crushed up fine so that it can be spread out and so that it reacts because the finer it is the faster it works. Um, it's perfectly fine for organic or biodynamic properties. Um, the price of it basically depends on the source and how far away it is because you're talking in, in tonnes of, of stuff being spread. So. It's, um, it can add up to quite a few truckloads and kilometres. What we've got here, here's the original one from the, um, from the plot. The, the white stuff is just the, the powder dust, it's not the lime. Um, but we can see that's got that purplish sort of colour. This is from an untreated area. This has had no lime. This is the soil as it was. And you can see it's much more greenish in colour going down to that uh, lighter green underneath. So the lime's actually had quite a good effect in our trial plot, even after only one year.
If somebody's concerned about the soil health on their property or thinks that they might have an acidity problem, they should contact their local landscape board office. We can offer advice for landowners in the Western Mount Lofty Ranges and Flurio region, we can offer soil testing and we can also offer recommendations for the amount of lime or products that they need to use to get their soil to the correct pH and maximum productivity. This Healthy Soils, Healthy Landscapes project is delivered by the Hills and Flurio Landscape Board and supported by the Australian Government's National Landcare Program.